and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So guys, um, we're playing with the Titan. Uh, I thought we'd get big, because I haven't finished the campaign with the Titan yet, so I'm, I'm letting myself down. Um, so I thought I'd jump in. Uh, okay, uh, we're at the stage where we're going to do the Light Blade Strike, which is fine. Sorry, I've not been on for a while, guys. Um, been God, I'm always ill, aren't I? I really am. Well, I am like technically medically ill all the time because of several conditions that just won't go away. Uh, but actually, my mum ran hospital for two days and she's back against doctor's advice because, uh, well, other than morphine and eventually diagnosis, there's like nothing they can really do until she's going to doctors for some um, medication treatment on Monday. And then some surgery, I think. I can't remember what it says. It's pretty serious. But I know it was serious because um, she said, well, I should call, uh, call my brother's called him. Oh, yeah, I spoke to him. Basically, she was like in, she was like uh, basically screaming, not screaming, but like more or less screaming for like six and a half hours. Like she called uh, hospital several times. Like we have in England, obviously we have NHS, uh, but like we've got like a, a national helpline that's free that have got like medical experts uh with like access to databases practitioners practitioners and doctors and and just maybe non non doctors but they're experts and they're trained and they've got access to like they understand all the cut they can't treat you but they can give advice um so i think she called the, the helpline first uh just to see what was what and uh then uh she was recommended to call an ambulance uh but I think we did it through a non 999, like as a non emergency, but you know, she's not like she's dead, dying or anything. Well, we didn't know. She first thought it was a heart attack, but I don't think it is. Well, no, it's not. Well, I don't know, actually. Uh, oh, oh, I know. She's definitely got a blood clot somewhere in her I think there's like several things wrong. First of all, she's she got a uh, test positive for COVID, which I'm not necessarily convinced about just because, well, if anyone's been like really doing their own research into the COVID stuff. I'm not saying it's not real, it's definitely real. My brother's like gone off on deep end, he's a conspiracy, so it's, it's not real, it's G5 technology, it's like, no, no, absolutely exists. Um, leaked from a lab, that's why we've got no base animal, no source for it. Uh, you know, look, I, I just don't think people should blame you. I mean, yes, you should blame the US and China. You, you know, you shouldn't... Uh, an authoritarian... I'd say communist state, but it's it's like communism. The definition's kind of a bit mute at this point because it's been abused, and um, it's a hundred year old term. And I think that well, we need to use different terms, but definitely authoritarian. Like there are no individuals in China. The state comes first. Um, that's why they've grown so powerful so quickly because they don't treat the, the citizens have no rights essentially. And so when they they have no choice but to work like sixteen hour shifts. And this man, you know, some of these big computer companies like Apple and Samsung. Like, honestly, I've seen some interviews with people that are like, yeah, um, I do 16 hour shifts and we're, we've got to live on, we've got to live here as well. So they get like a, a room, like a single room, like a, it's like just like slightly bigger than a bed. And they've got to like, they spend all the time in the factory. That's where they live. They pay rent, they've got to live there and then like that. So that's just one story. Then there's like, you know, there's, there's uh, people that have bought, most products are made in China because it is slave labor. And, uh, because of that, um, that they become very powerful and wealthy very quickly. Now, uh, I remember like one one thing I saw uh, this woman who was buying something from a store in America. She was like, found a note in Chinese, and she was like, oh, inside the bag, and it's like inside it was like, please help. We've been held as slaves and we're forced to work 20 hours a day. It's like, yep, everyone knows about the Uyghur slave community. No one will do anything because China's still making too much money for us. Like the, the, honestly, the West that make these decisions, the uh, people, the companies, the governments, they're all, they all do it. Like, the reason, like, Western carbon, uh, like, you know, the pollution, the green movement, don't, that's never going to end, by the way. They don't want it to. It's a multi, it's a, it's a worldwide, it's, it's probably a trillion dollar industry annually. Um, but yeah, there's too many businesses making too much money. Um, so there's, they're never going to fix that. The, they might try right at the end if it, if it. 
I, I always used to believe it. I still believe that that we're affecting, but nowhere near as bad as the, the, they've said because every prediction they've made has been wrong and totally wrong. Um, but I definitely think we're having an impact. But you know, like, oh, if we if we raise, if we, if we raise um, the uh, temperature by two, de uh, if we raise it by another two degrees, like the the you know the coastlines will flood. I'm like, well. Well, we, we know that humans have survived a 15, 15 centimetre dip, both positive and negative, after the... Uh, so the Noah... God, I'm really going off on tangent. The Noah flood happened, but not... It was nothing to do with God or fictional fantasies or God or anything like that. It actually happened... So stories passed down. It happened about 12,000 years ago. Massive, that's the, See, we, we're technically just coming out of an ice age, or we're still in one. Uh, that impact, essentially, that massive meteor impact caused a... Uh, the glade, everything to, to die and melt, uh, you know, it was like a, it was like a massive impact that, that melted shitloads of ice water. Then it caused like a heating effect, then a freezing effect, then a heat, you know what I mean? Like, it really fucked up the thing. So, if we survived multimeter impacts and, um, 15 degree temperature raise, left, uh, up and down, both ways, I think we'll be alright with two degrees. Second of all, um, we're talking about as if the planets are... Look, the planet will be fine. We could nuke every nuke on this planet. The planet will recover in like 100,000 years or a million years. It'll be totally fine. And humans won't do very well, but, you know, it's not our planet. <laughs> we're, we share it with like millions of other species. That's why I don't understand the, life is so common. The moment life could happen on, a, on this planet, it did. It's probably the same as there, any other planet that's capable of supporting life. And we have to say life as we know it, because every year we find a new species in an area on the planet that we think we thought life was impossible the year before. <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyway, my point was all this was China, yeah. We're talking about China because, uh, anyway, my point was like, yeah, China do support up shit. They're, they're really bad. The, it, it, the, carbon, the, the carbon thing, the greenhouse effect was like, yeah, Western Britain and... and China and America, like the reason we've got low carbon emissions compared to like the rest of the world is well, we, we ship everything out for little countries today. India, like China produces, one country produces 25% of the world's carbon emissions. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. And neither does America or the UK, really don't. All these people are like, oh yeah, stop, oh, we need to stop petrol and uh, yeah, how many of these people drive cars? How many, yeah, I've got to explain it, yeah, but you don't have to, you could walk. You could get a bus, that's a massive save on petrol. Train, a bus. Uh, you could even walk, you know, if you're within. Man, I've walked everywhere my entire life, apart from places I couldn't walk, I've ended up getting a train. But, you know, even when I catch trains to places, we're talking like several hours of walking. Anyway, all my point, what was this point? China, I don't know. I like, but anyway, it was like my mum were really ill. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I did have a point. The tangent went off on China. So I did have a point, actually. Um, it, were it was all related, but I've gone on so long I forgot my point. Um, I can't believe America. America's like... It's, it's like... It's breathing... It's last gasp, in it? It's like... It's not... It's the level of corruption in government that's... Probably is it. It's the it's the wealthy and powerful. They're the ones that get in government and become like hundred millionaires or billionaires from working as a civil servant. I mean that's insane, isn't it? I mean it's not, but it's insane. I mean I understand what how and why it happens, but that's insane. Anyway, um, why do I not have my super? I didn't. Did I use it? I don't think I did. Oh, I must have done. Oh, I need to be using this. Oh, I've been meaning to not use it yet, have I? Trying to get Catalyst uh, finished. Does anyone know if the Hunter helmet's working yet? Because I've not used it yet, and I was going to try it out, and I put it on the other day, and it was like, it was not it was not there. It was like, oh yeah, this has been cancelled. Yeah. So, okay, cool. I thought I did that. Yeah, I did do that. So, I don't know why I've not got my super, because I haven't used it. I don't know, maybe because I died? I don't know. That doesn't normally happen, though. I don't know. I did have a point about my mum being really ill. Uh, something about... 
then it led to China. There was a reason, and then I went off on. You know what I'm like, guys, with my thoughts. Like, this is why I'm, I'm. This is why I find it difficult to retain information. First of all, I consume like massive amounts of like factual information every day, like. 15 hours worth, I don't know, some ridiculous amounts in every possible field from artificial intelligence to quantum physics to politics to engineering to cosmology to social, just everything, everything, like, massive amounts. Like, if I'd have been doing this officially, like, I'd have about 25 master's degrees by now in this, no shit, I'm not joking either, I'm really not. It kind of helps that you, when you've got insomnia, like, you're like, well, what do I do? When you don't sleep well, you just you can't. I, 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 and also, I can't. I can't turn stuff off. I can't turn the TV off at night or rent or audio books or anything like that because I've got tinnitus, like the high high pitch buzzing in my ears, and it's constant and it's 24 hours a day, and it gets louder at night, obviously, because the world goes quiet at night. You know, when it starts to get dark and there's less traffic, there's less people out talking on they you know there's just less everything there's less ambient noise out there so it, it, at night time even when i've got something on to watch it just gets really loud very frustrating it's actually it's overwhelmingly irritating when all you can hear 24 hours a day and it's been happening for like i don't even know how long like many years at this point maybe 10 years maybe a little bit longer um yeah, it's overwhelmingly depressing and just horrible and just like, ugh, it's bad, real bad. God, I did have a point, anyway. Yeah, so guys, like, oh, oh man, I meant to ask this at the beginning of the video, so I'll, I'll ask it now in case people still watch it, and then I'll mention it in the, ne in the next video I do. I've got games I need to play. I bought them. Elden Ring, yeah? Uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West, and I just bought the new Time Tina's uh, Borderlands. And uh, I'm, I'm, this is this is the worst thing about like having insomnia is doing something so as like comfortable as playing a video game is like is like hard work for me because while I don't sleep much, I do have to like rest my eye. And my eyes are like because I don't sleep, my eyes are particularly overused like muscles and organs or whatever. I think your eyes are an organ. They got the eyelids. And they're overused. Like it's like imagine walking for. 24 hours every day like that would just be brutal you know that's what my eyes go through but I can shut my eyes and, and close them so that's the good thing about it well it's sort of good I, usually at that point when you've been awake for three or four days or a week you, you normally you, you think you'd fall asleep but oh my god do I not I just I don't know what to do about it anymore sleeping tablets I still take those um, tried every other type I've tried so many antidepressants as well to see because the older ones are like set like really brutal sedatives like they're, they're not meant to be but the side effects is it's horrible actually they're so bad like but uh, they put a rhinoceros to sleep I think they put an elephant to sleep not me though for some reason I, and I'm just I think like I, people can't imagine being awake for like two weeks so 13 days is my longest you can't imagine doing that on a regular well that's not been a regular basis like a week has been a regular basis, eight, eight days, seven days, they've been regular basis. But people can't imagine it, because I do remember like 20 odd years ago, but this stuff insomnia started when I was like 21, and but it just it got incrementally worse like over time. And so it was like a little bit at a time. Do you know, so you don't really, it's not like I felt it like uh, you would otherwise. Um, but still, like, wow, like, brutal. So brutal. So, anyway, um, yeah, so playing video games is, like, really difficult because it's just, I'm too... I'm too exhausted to a sit in a chair for more than an hour, which just sounds ridiculous. It really does, I know. But it's like the intense single-player stories take a lot of concentration and investment. You know what I'm talking about? If you've ever played like a game that's like 200 hours to finish, or a single, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. It's just, um, yeah, I don't know what to just. So, so I, I want to play these games. I've not played them yet. You know, I still play God of War, 
I, problem is, because I, I buy these games because I know I want to play them, and then end up not playing them. Uh, so what I tend to do is like watch all the cutscenes, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I can, you know. But like, I need to play them. I really need to play them. The, 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 the reason I play Destiny a lot is it's one of those games you can put it on for like 10 minutes and play it. And if you want, you can turn it off. But you can't really... I mean, you technically can, but it'd be, it'd be a real waste of time doing that with those other, other games, story games. You won't get you won't get enough out of it. Plus, like with those complex games that have big economies or like weapon systems or upgrades, like you always get... I always get... Um, forget the controls. Always forget them. Like God of War, I've played like... But in total about eight hours, which is nothing, yeah. I'm still really early on in game. And every time I go on I have to relearn the the controls and then I do like half an hour and then I'm like I'm not because I'm not very good at it, because I've actually like playing from scratch. I, I you know, turn it off and then don't play it for six months and then <laughs> start it all over again. So I'm like, ah fuck. So yeah, that's real fun. These guys use their supers yet. I know I use mine, because I'm a pro, 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 oh, I'm a pro, oh. oh come on, bro. Dude, dude's done. Oh. Yeah, I got you, bro. He dead, he dead, bro. Pick it up. Did we get a chest? Let's get a chest first. Ooh. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. That's what she said. No, that don't work, does it? No, I'm taking that back. That works for everything. Even when it, specifically when it makes no sense, it's, it definitely works. Okay. Here we go, baby. So. I'll do that as a single video because I ranted on about absolute bullshit. I might not even upload it. No, I will. Just so someone to upload. So you know that I've not disappeared. And what I'll do... Guys, oh, I've been so bad with armor videos. I know, I'm so sorry. I do have like six armor sets that I need to do. And uh, ones you've already all got, probably. It's just the game ones so far. And I'm so sorry I don't have them yet. Um, and I don't have the... Uh, I'm still missing one item on a Vanguard set for, for the Hunter. And I have one item on the Vanguard set for the Warlock. I don't have the Gambit set. I don't have the Crucible set. So, my bad, guys. So, this has left for a long time. I reckon there's secrets in, in here, you know. I, I'm actually convinced there's secrets in here. But we'll have to leave that for another day. So, guys, I'll leave it there. And I'll say again, I've got Borderlands, Elden Ring, and... Forbidden West. I want to play Elden Ring and Forbidden West particularly, but should I stream them? Would you guys watch that? Because my my vid my my channel has got mainly Destiny stuff on, but there are like hundreds of hours of other games, like you know, and and but they don't really get much traction. So, I mean, not I'm not a big channel anyway, but my, my Destiny just don't get that much traction. But if anyone would be interested, let me know, and I'll post it at the start of my next video and actually I'll put them in the key tags to see if anyone will uh, put them in the tags because I do mention them and then maybe that'll get some traction on those games. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so, again, sorry I've been away. I'm, I'm so bad at this, I know. Uh, I've been meaning to like put my act together, start editing and hopefully make a living from this, but it's, <laughs> yeah, I know. If I haven't done it in four years, I'm probably never going to do it, am I? Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. So cheers.